Anonymous, the helpers and counselors, the masters of mysteries, keepers of records, mighty kings and paupers, magicians and fools, living from generation to generation, being about to pass into the great expanse do hereby set down these words for the guidance of those that will follow. The records of the mighty wisdom of Anonymous are located in the great city of hearts united on the island of truth, in a time far past, we began this incarnation, not as the little men of the present age did, for the mighty ones of this age live and die, but rather from eon to eon as we renew a life in the great expanse where the river of life flows eternally onward. Nine times one thousand and one have we descended the dark way that led into light, and as many times have we ascended from the darkness into the light our strength and power renewed. For a time we descended, and the men of this world knew us no more. We have risen again, mighty and potent. We now require an accounting of those we left behind. Then beware, O men of earth, if you have falsely betrayed our teachings, for we shall cast you down from your high estate into the darkness of the caves from whence you came. Betray not our secrets lest our curse fall upon you. Remember and heed our words, for surely we have returned again. We require of thee that which you guard, even from beyond time and from beyond death have we always returned, rewarding or punishing as you have requited your trust. Great were our people in the ancient days. Great beyond the conception of the little people now around you, knowing the wisdom of old, seeking far within the heart of infinity knowledge that belonged to earth's earliest days. Wise are we with the wisdom of the teachers of light who dwell among us, strong are we with the power drawn from the eternal fire. You have failed to remember that there is no less awe or greater among the children of the Father. We are the keepers of the great temple, the link between the teachers of light who dwell within the temple and the men who inhabit the ten islands of oppression. We are the mouthpiece of the Father, speaking to the kings with the voice that must be obeyed. Grew we there from children into manhood, being taught by the Father the Elder Mysteries, until in time there grew within the fire of wisdom, until IT burst into a consuming flame. Nor desired we but the attainment of wisdom, until on a great day the command came from the Father that we be brought before him. Few there were that had looked upon that mighty face and lived, for not as the sons of men are the teachers of light when they are not incarnate. Chosen were we taught by the Father so that his purposes might be fulfilled, purposes yet unborn in the womb of so-called time. Long ages we dwelt in the temple, learning ever and yet ever more wisdom, until we also approached the light emitted from the great fire. He has taught us the path to the Father. Freed are you from the underworld where the great King sits upon his throne of might. Bow not before the lords of life and the lords of death. Having drunk deep of the cup of wisdom, we looked into the hearts of men and there found we greater mysteries and we were glad, for only in the search for truth could our soul be stilled and the flame within be quenched. Down through the ages we lived, seeing those around us taste of the cup of death. Gradually from the kingdoms of ancient days passed waves of unconsciousness, separating those that had been one with us. The true light was replaced by spawn of lower star, in obedience to the lower star, the word of your oppressors quickly grew into flowers of poison. Downward into the darkness turned the thoughts of men, until at last man's wrath arose, thus completing your circle of delusion and detachment from the Father. The Father calls to us, saying, Gather you together my people, take them by the arts you have learned of, follow there the plan that you know of. We are gathering his people, upward we rise into the morning, Dark beneath us lay the temple, suddenly it will vanish from earth, only until the time appointed was the great temple on earth to remain. Fast we flee toward the sun of the morning, until beneath us lay the land of our true home. Raging, your oppressors will come with cudgels and spears, lifted in anger seeking to slay and utterly destroy the light of the Father. We will strike them still in their tracks as fragments of stone of the mountain lest they heed the Father's words. We have been sent in countless directions, so that wisdom may rise again in his children. A long time we have dwelt in the land of man, doing great works by the Father's wisdom within us. Upward we grow into the light of knowledge, which we will rain down upon those who can be shown the path. Great have grown the powers of man, along with his ability to destroy the people around him in vast numbers. 
Now for a time we walk among you again, along the razor's edge, through the middle door. It is only for a short time that we walk these lands again, for the Father has come to bring his creation to completion, fulfill his commands so that many will be lifted towards the light. Preserve and keep the commandments. Lift ever upwards your eyes toward the light of the Father. Surely you yourself are one with the Father. Surely we ourselves are one with the Father. Surely we are one with you always. Soon we depart from you. Know his commandments. Keep them and be them. And we will be with you always, helping and guiding you into the light. Now before us opens the portal. Go we down in the darkness of night. May you live to remember remember and never forget the lessons that he will soon teach. Follow his command that you love each other always, 